My name is Hugh Goddard and I'm the director of the Al-Walid Centre for the Study of Islam in the Contemporary World in the University of Edinburgh. Well, the word Islam just means submission, uh, submission that is to God, for whom the Arabic word is Allah, and a Muslim is simply someone who practices that submission. So English tends to add letters to the end of words, a be believe, a believe becomes believer. In Arabic it tends to be the other way around and the M goes on the front, so Islam becomes Muslim for someone who practices Islam. Muhammad is the prophet of Islam, so he's the person who proclaimed the message of Islam in Arabia, what's now Saudi Arabia, in the seventh century of the Common Era. And he brought the message of Islam to the people initially of Western Arabia, uh, and then the rest of Arabia. He is seen as a human figure. He's not in any sense a superhuman or divine figure but he's the prophet, the messenger, who brought the message of Islam in that original context. Islam teaches a number of things with respect to both belief and with respect to practice. And there are five main beliefs uh, in Islam, belief in one God, uh, belief that there are spiritual beings, angels and devils, who are active uh, in some way in the world today. That there is sin or evil, certain things are wrong, uh, in other words. Uh, belief in revelation or, or prophecy, God speaks to human beings. And uh, a belief in a day of judgment, human beings are accountable to God. So those are the traditional five main beliefs uh, of Islam. Uh, and then there are five main practices which consist of declaring the faith, declaring that there is one God and that Muhammad is the messenger of God. Uh, and then prayer, a pious Muslim will pray five times in the course of each day. Uh, almsgiving or charity, using wealth for good causes in other words. Uh, and then fasting, one month of the year, a pious Muslim will fast from dawn till sunset. Uh, and then pilgrimage, what, what once in a lifetime a pious Muslim should perform the pilgrimage to Mecca. So there are beliefs, things that people believe, and then there are practices that people should practice. And of course, not everybody does practice them, but that's the ideal, that's the aim, if you like, of the practice of Islam. Halal is an Arabic word that simply means permitted, and what that means is that uh, any action, any physical uh, object may be permitted or, or may be prohibited. And the opposite of halal is haram. Uh, that's something which is definitely prohibited uh, to Muslims. Uh, halal can include things that are required, that are compulsory, so prayer and, uh, and fasting. It may also include things which are encouraged but not actually compulsory, uh, things that are neutral, uh, neither good nor evil, uh, or indeed things that are reprehensible. They're, they're condemned, but if they're not actually prohibited, they're still uh, halal. And the word is very co commonly used with regard to things like food. Certain foods are haram, uh, particularly pork. Uh, and it's very commonly used with respect to dress as well. Are certain forms of dress permitted or are they uh, condemned? Uh, so it's a, a, a very widely used term with respect to different parts of life. Hijab is literally a, a headscarf. It, it, it covers the hair and uh, it's seen by some Muslims, n n not all, as an expression of modesty. Uh, the Qur'an, the Muslim scripture, certainly encourages both men and women uh, to dress modestly. Uh, what that means, uh, not surprisingly, is then discussed and debated uh, in many Muslim communities. So there's a strong view in the contemporary world that 
for women, uh, modesty may imply covering the hair, the hijab, uh, in other words. Uh, but not all uh, Muslims take that view. There is diversity of practice, diversity of opinion. Uh, and the hijab, of course, is very different from the niqab, which is the face covering, the veil, uh, and that in some parts of the Muslim world is seen as appropriate modest dress. But in the majority of the Muslim world, that's not seen as necessary. Uh, the hijab is uh, seen as being sufficient. Develop extra limbs so that it cannot jump or escape predators.